hello guys you're welcome again to another after effect tutorials today i'm going to show you how you can create this amazing 3d animation in adobe after effects without the use of any plugin and not even the use of the cinema 4d render included into the after effect so support me on this one hit the like button on the video subscribe to my youtube channel and do not forget to turn on the notification then come back let's get started So I'm going to start with a basic composition, feel free to choose your own settings and bring in your logo. With this, I already have my logo in here and then I traced it using the pen tool and then added a trim part option which are animated like this. It is not compulsory, you must do it like this. You can use a static logo to also follow up on this tutorial. But in case if you want to know how I did this, if you want to know how to use the trim part to animate a shape layer, I have a video on the card above. Follow it, watch that in case if you want to follow with these styles then come back let's get started so bring in your logo then pre-compose it and then hit ok now make your logo composition a 3d layer then hit p on your keyboard to bring up the position properties then right click on this and select separate dimension this is going to break all the axis into separate uh, parameters then alt click on the z position and then type in index this simple expression we just typed in is going to help us offset each duplicate of this logo composition layer in the z axis by one pixel each time we make a duplicate so select this Ctrl D on your keyboard to make the first duplicate but before you continue making more duplicates select the bottom layer go to effect and preset and then search for brightness and contrast drag and drop it into the bottom uh, composition then I'm going to temporarily hide the bottom one so that I can see the bottom layer so I'm going to make this a bit darker reduce the brightness to minus 35 and then on hide the top layer i'm gonna duplicate this uh, bottom layer to about 30 more times the more duplicate you have the deeper your 3d is gonna be so now still we cannot see anything first of all what we're gonna do now is to add a camera right click on your timeline go to new and then add a 3d camera I'm gonna leave it to the default 50 mm and then hit ok right click on your timeline again go to new and then create a new null object i'm gonna make the null object a 3d layer and name it camera control then i'm gonna make the camera a child of the camera controller by pick webbing it to it now select your camera controller hit r on your keyboard to reveal the rotation properties on the x rotation i'm gonna make that 0 by 25 and on the y rotation i'm gonna make that 0 by minus 45 now you can see the depth on your logo now the next thing we're gonna do is to add a background but before that we're gonna hide some duplicates of this logo because we don't need to see them we only need to have it in the preview window i'm gonna count from the top one two and all other ones in between i'm going to select and hide them except the last bottom one you will know why as we proceed in this tutorial i'm going to activate the hide all layers on the selected layer and then activate it also right here now we have hidden all the layers in between we only left the ones we want to work with right click on your timeline then go to new and then select a solid layer i'm going to name it bg move it to the bottom of the hierarchy completely now we're gonna add a shadow effect to the bottom layer and that is why we didn't hide it select it go to effect and preset and look for drop shadow drag and drop it into the bottom uh, logo composition layer so what we're gonna do now is to increase the distance to 20 we're going to change the direction slightly this of course will depend on what you prefer 
I'm going to increase the softness to about 35. I'm going to increase the opacity level to 70. And I'm also going to change the direction a bit. This will, of course, all depend on what you like. Yes, this is beautiful. If you preview this right now, this is what you're going to have. Beautiful. Now let's add more beauty to our 3D logo animation. Go to camera options and then move your time indicator to about 6 seconds forward in time and set a keyframe for the zoom and change the value to 5000. Then I'll move my time indicator back to 0 and change the value of the zoom to 10,000. Select your keyframes, right click on them and easy ease. Select the last one, go into the graph editor and change the curve to somewhat like this. Now select the camera controller, hit R on your keyboard to reveal the rotation properties. Then move your time indicator to about 6 seconds or 6 seconds forward in time and then set a keyframe for the X and the Y and move your time indicator back to 0 and change the value of X to 0 by 50 and change the value of Y to 0 by minus 15. Move your time indicator to 6 seconds forward in time again. Select the camera controller, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and hit the P. That will reveal the position property while still keep the rotation properties visible. Then set a keyframe for the position at 6 seconds. Then move your time indicator to at the point where the extrusion or the animation started to somewhere around here. Yes. Now move it until you can see it on the center. This is about okay. Then you move the keyframe to zero. Select the newly created keyframes, right click on it and then go to easy ease. Now select this last keyframe right here, switch to graph editor and also change the curve to somewhat like this. So if you preview this now, this is what you have. beautiful from this point you can add text if you like the creativity is all yours i've just shown you the way so that is it guys this is how to create a 3d logo animation without the use of any plugin in adobe after effects and if this kind of tutorial impress you please hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel that will help the algorithm uh, suggest this video to more people if you have any question you can ask me in the comment below and i will respond to every question as soon as possible so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru for motion digit studios